guys, welcome back to Gainsaw Games. Uh, trying something new again. Um, just bought this Pit Boss Grill smoker. Eight in one cooking, the smoking barbecue, bake, roast, flame broil, grill, sear, braise. Pellet smoker. Um, here's the inside. Comes with one meat probe. Has a spot for two meat probes. This shelf is removable. This shelf over here has three tool hangers and it folds down. Also has a shelf on the bottom, a drip bucket. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is get my tools, go through all this hardware, make sure everything's tight because the mounting bracket was loose when I picked it up from the store and one of these hangers also came off this one right here because it was not tightened so the assemblers at the store don't do a great job make sure you recheck it all uh, after I get that done I'll be back and we're going to do a prime on the pellet auger and then we're going to do a pre-cook and burn off before we throw some meat on here and put this baby to work okay not only did the assemblers not tighten all the bolts I think they gave me the wrong bracket because these pins should both be facing in and there should be screws to put in these holes so this one stays on and folds up like this side shelf Alright, so now we're going to take these stickers off, remove all the grates, and find our fire pot, which is right there. Looks like we've got a little bit of styrofoam to clean out before we fire this up. And I'll finish removing these stickers. Okay, I got the fire pot exposed. I got to fill the hopper right here. Then I have to prime this, which lets the auger fill up, takes wood to your fire pot. Uh, I, bought, I bought a cheaper bag of wood pellets, complete blend there. It was about 15 bucks for that 40 pound bag. I'm going to use it to do my burn off. All right, so first thing you want to do, get her plugged in. Turn it on, put it on the lowest setting. So we, well, you gotta check this pot, see if there's air coming out of there. I definitely feel some air coming out. You can put your hand down there, see if it's warming up. Yep, it's definitely getting hotter. see the auger turning but if you push prime hold that in it should spin a little faster okay I got my first little pellet fell in the uh, in the fire pot I got more coming out now okay we got pellets falling in so we can turn the turn it off it is off and we'll put our cooking grates back in make sure this goes in with the horizontal bars up and the little extended peg out so that's what you will use to lock it into place as two different settings there all right now we'll close the lid 
those fire box start this baby up uh, need to be at 350 degrees or more for a initial burn off of any oils that may have been left over from the factory I'm going to hit it about 400 get a nice burn off on it and go while we're waiting on this to get up the temp I'm going to see if we connect to this app so I just downloaded the app this is the first thing on it click that I gotta put this info in alright I'm in now I'm going to click add grill add grill yes read all this because it's important I don't know if you've ever seen South Park or not, but you should always read their mind's privacy policy. Um, yes. Allow. i to turn my Bluetooth on. I'm not sure. Continue. Searching for it. Um, this is the 850 competition, which is not on here. We're going to go with the 820 because that looks closest to what I've got. We're gonna name her Barbie. Continue. Your grill has been added to the app. Now it's time to connect your grill to Wi-Fi. Yes. Okay, so now they're updating the grill. All right, looks like the grill has been successfully updated. It is 360 degrees. Okay, 360 degrees. And I don't think you can see it because that's not a very bright light, but it says 360 degrees. Alright, I'm going to go take care of something else. We'll wait till this gets up to 400 on the app. Double check it back here. And then we'll time her out to run for 30 minutes. Okay, I'm now in the comfort of my own bed looking at the app and it's 400 degrees so I'm going to hit this timer button move this thing up to 30 minutes set the timer app is at 30 minutes we'll check again in a little bit All right, my timer has went off. I'm back outside now. As you can see, I've got my heat set to 450, and it's been running about 400 for half an hour now. So it is a little windy today and a little chilly out. So that affects the temperature pretty good, apparently. Let's see, right now it's 64 degrees. Winds are about nine miles an hour. All right, we're going to go ahead and shut her down, and hopefully we're going to fire it up tomorrow and try it out for the first time. So, thanks for watching. As always, give us a thumbs up. Check for another video tomorrow when we fire this bad boy up.